Hello, this is Dr. Micah Jazz with Be Still and Know. During the spring, as I was weeding a border in the oratory garden, I became aware of the buzzing of a bee. Now, bees work continuously to collect pollen from flowering plants. One reason for ensuring gardens are filled with flowers from early spring to early winter. However, today was unusual for I consistently heard the buzzing of bees. Pausing to take a refreshment break, I stepped into the shed to remove my wellingtons and heard the buzzing of bees. Now Jane had said she wondered if there was a nest of bees, so I took some time unsuccessfully seeking to isolate the location of this buzzing. I went indoors for a welcome rest. Later that day, returning to the weeding, I heard the buzzing again and eventually located a bee upon some blossoms next door. I watched the methodical way in which the bee entered every flower to collect as much pollen as possible. I could see it building up around its legs. Returning to my task, I lifted a forkful of weed-laden earth and out fell a white-tailed bee, looking drowsy and disoriented. I gently picked it up and in my gloved hand and placed it on a clear piece of ground. It looked exhausted. I sought Jane's opinion as she knows something about bees and she supplied a small mixture of sweetened water, believing it to be dehydrated from its ceaseless endeavours in seeking pollen. Very soon this bee flew off. However, I pondered bees for a while. I felt God was speaking to me through the continuous awareness of bees I'd experienced that day. I discovered that St John Chrysostom, reluctant 4th century Bishop of Constantinople wrote, the bee is more honored than other animals, not because it labors, because it labors for others. What's more, bees are symbols of wisdom. They collect nectar from many flowers and turn it into nourishing honey also known as bees gold. In this way they are, like the Christian, the willing servants of all. By pollinating the plants, we're able to harvest their fruits. In some countries, people hand pollinate plants to produce and reap a harvest. This is due to a loss of bees or to produce cash crops for economic reasons alone. Finally, I learned that bees work ceaselessly for the benefit of the hive, even being prepared to sacrifice their life for the hive's survival. The hive and its precious honey are the sole purpose for the bee, the honey that naturally sweetens our food, for it is freely shared for the good of humanity, is the gold from within the hive. I too must consider what I'm working towards and who I'm working for, and learn some lessons from the bee, now a symbol of Christian devotion for us here in the oratory. As we enter into the God space today, I encourage you to journey through life with ears and eyes open. God speaks in so many various ways to nurture our spirit and deepen our faith and calling. The word mellifluous comes from the Latin mel for honey and fluere to flow. I'm reminded of the promise God made to Israel of a land flowing with milk and honey. I recall my responsibility to reveal the sweetness of God throughout my life. Now as we draw to the end of September, I'm going to be drawing to a close in presenting Be Still and Know. And I'll be giving more details about that next week, so join me then. You can also join me this Sunday for Premier Life. But until then, from me, Micah Jazz, it's goodbye and God bless.